Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Project Aura. Uh, this, is, this game is complicated. So, uh, first and foremost, it is a city management game. So, uh, if you like The Sim, not The Sim, if you like Sim City, if you like um, uh, the City series, Cities XL, that kind of thing, this is probably going to be kind of interesting for you. If you like something a little bit faster paced and a little bit less complicated, well, uh, you might want to pass on this one. Because, honestly, I'm I'm scratching my head constantly over, like, how do you even get this game to work proper. And I think I finally figured out, like, 90% of it. So, first and foremost, you can customize what your dudes look like. This guy is probably going to throw up, because at this point, I think I've liquefied his brain organs, and pretty much everything else. I'm impressed at his fortitude. He also seems to have the Sam Fisher helmet on, so he's probably going to be our uh, assassin character. Unfortunately, there's no combat in this game as far as I know, so uh, I actually don't know what he's supposed to be. You can also switch uh, between men and women. Pretty form-fitting. I'm not entirely sure if it might... Like, the models might actually just be a, a uh, textured version of a default model. I don't know. Uh, but the helmet the helmets are actually significant. We'll get to them in a bit. You can also set it so it uh, switches or rotates around. You can change your colors. Uh, there are different types of uniform that you can probably unlock as you go along. You can change the name of your colony, colors, yada yada yada. You can also change the difficulty. So how much money we start with. So we can start with loads of money, not much money, barely any money, and destitute, and we're probably going to lose. Let's start with uh, let's start with this. And unfortunately, I can't figure out how to put any points into core battery, capacity, followers, constructor pack, any of that stuff. So, uh, I guess we're just going to be super basic. Activate colony. Ready. So, uh, I guess one of the things I should probably mention about this game before I get any further is this game is in beta. So, if it seems like I don't understand anything, or it's uh, features you know, that I'm looking for isn't there, we'll figure it out. So, first and foremost... Uh, this is a city management game, so here's the city. It is a big floaty thing out in the middle of the ocean. If we zoom out far enough, we can tell that we are underneath a shield that is protecting us from a crazy amount of rain. Therefore, we are on Camino and we are building a clone army. Uh, I hope most people get that reference, even if it was a shitty movie. Um, but, uh, one of the first things that drew me into this game is the fact that the visuals are actually really nice. Like, it, it's kind of Homeworld-esque in a way. Of course, not at all the same topic of gameplay, but... you still has that nice sci-fi vibe to it. Hopefully at some point we'll be able to customize this so it can look a little bit nicer, because right now I feel like I'm uh, on a shipyard or something. Hopefully at some point we're going to be able to make an underwater uh, base here. But as it stands, I've got this menu open. It's important. This menu is also important. So this menu down here, uh, unfortunately I can't show my cursor, but you guys can see where things light up, and this one's in the bottom left. So, construction. Construction lets you build your various structures. There are nine of them. We'll get to what they do in a second. So, we're going to need to start quick, because there's some pretty important things we need to get across here. So, first and foremost, we've got the residential block. This is where we put our people. We need a lot of these to house everybody. I'm not actually sure what the, um, what the capacity is on these. Uh, the tool tips and the information is a little bit sparse and is going to take a lot of getting used to. So, by the way, if any of you people do decide to pick this one up, I highly recommend watching the tutorials because they help a little bit. Not nearly as much. The rest is like trial and error and good luck, which is why I'm doing this video series because hopefully people can get a good handle on how to play the game. So I'm going to I'm gonna get into some kind of advanced stuff fairly quickly just because I want to get this under underway and then I can explain as I go. And if I leave anything out, please feel free to ask any questions down in the comments below because I can uh, either figure it out on my own, ask the developers, or um, I don't know, so Google the problem until I find the solution. Anyway, so first thing we're going to do is build the residential block. We don't have the resources for it, and there's this battery symbol we'll get into for a little bit. Now you can customize the template if you really wanted to, but right now I don't feel like it. But I could put like a bunch of a bunch of extra residential buildings in here. Not going to do that. Now what I can do is drag it here, supposedly drag it to the market, and buy all the resources for it. Looks like that is not the case. I have been lied to, unless, you know, the answer is somewhere else. Can I drag it to this? Nope. Weird. Oh, here here we go. Okay, so if I drag it out here into one of these, like, open slots, I, I can actually buy the required materials for... Uh, the, re the required materials for the building, which actually saves me a fair amount of time. Because... Seriously, you have to go hunting for all the materials and it's a pain in the butt. So, 
we're going to buy the required materials for this uh, residential building, and then we're just gonna plop it here. You can use the scroll wheel to rotate buildings around. Now, I guess I didn't really mention this, but you you move the camera with WASD, scroll in and out with the scroll, um, uh, scroll wheel on your mouse, right click to rotate the camera, pan it up and down, that kind of business. All right, basic controls over with. Now, we've got this residential building. Not much to it, uh, but this is a, another complicated thing and I, I'm gonna skip past some things just to get it under, underway. So, residential block is where all of our people are gonna live. Now we need to figure out somebody to run this place and unfortunately it doesn't look like I've got anybody particularly useful for this one. So, what we're gonna wanna do is get Andrew Stewart Lord for a specific reason and I don't know. Let's just get her because there's no reason why not to. So, this screen is the organization chart. Each building has one of these. Organization charts determine um, how a building functions and you have to like hook up specific resources to specific people. It's crazy and it gets really, really complicated really fast, which is a serious problem. This game is not beginner friendly in the slightest. So what I just built, and by the way, this thing in the bottom right corner is the inventory. I haven't turned it off yet because I never really got around to it. So what I bought was organic waste recuperation, which is a module. And you need these modules to be able to run a structure. So currently on the organizational chart, I've got the medic, who's going to be our organizer here, our director, my bad. Uh, and directors run the building, and you need you need a director for a building to even do anything, which is kind of unfortunate, it's kind of weird, but whatever, no big deal. Then you need these modules here, in this case the recycler, uh, to actually have the building do anything. It's kind of like uh, orders. You have the, the executor, the orders, and then you need somebody to run it, again. Kind of like the director. So we're going to hook up the residential block to the medic, who's going to be our director for the time being, hook the recycler, uh, organic waste recuperation, up to the res residential block, and the junior uh, recycler up to the organic waste recuperation. So essentially, what's happening here is this guy, this poor dude is just strapped to a toilet, and we're just uh, sucking the shit out of him. It's ridiculous. But, uh, so his entire job is just going to be that sitting there and pooping for a while. And we're gonna need a lot of poop, like a significant amount. In fact, I might actually build more of those. Come to think that, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. So, then what we're gonna do is quickly pop over to the market and we're going to go to organic. Now we've got organic garbage, seaweed, seed tomato. Those are useless right now. Water portion, seaweed portion. So these are the important things. There are uh, five different types of markets. Each has different stuff you can buy. And so that's something important to pay attention to. So I'm just gonna buy a hundred of both of these. These are food. This is how you feed your people. And if you don't feed them, well, A, they're not gonna shit for you. And B, uh, they're going to get unhappy and either leave if they their morale drops too low or if their morale is decent, but their nutrition and water have you know gone down to the bits, which I'll show in a second, they'll just flat out die on you. So there is actually some amount of stakes to this game. It's not just purely uh, creating the most optimum, uh, I don't know, water city, whatever. So at this point, I have dragged from the menu the seaweed portion and the water portion. If you hold over, hold your cursor over it, you can see what they do. Or you can see them in here. Now you can bring them into the larder, larder just so you know uh, like what food you have available and then you can customize menus. Menus are important because we're going to activate this one. And so, oh, it's supposed to be activated. Oh, they have to be in the larder, don't they? All right, that that is actually a terrible design. So I dragged them from the inventory into the menu, but apparently that doesn't put them in the larder. So I need to remember to stock the larder before I put them on the menu. That, that's a really weird design choice and I kind of hope they change it. But now that I have the larder actually properly socked and a menu set up and activated, our people are fed either 25 or 2.5, can't really tell, uh, hydration and nutrition per day and our morale goes up by one per day. And so there's food benefits, 552, five, and then daily waste, 221. Two, and I'm, I'm sure that means something. At, at some point, I'll figure out how it works properly. But essentially, our people are no longer starving to death and no longer unhappy. Unfortunately, I don't have any food production here. Uh, I, I just bought food and water, which means we need to figure out how to make food for ourselves. So next task, task is going to be, we've, we've already got... Uh, 
we've supposedly, oh right, I forgot to do this. This is really important. You actually need to remember to turn structures on. So I believe, what do you mean no food supplies to feed our citizens? I totally just, I don't get this game sometimes. Okay, that concerns me, but hopefully things will be okay. So now that, now that we've got some food and we've got the, the shit set up, what you can do uh, to make time go faster in this game is you can actually do shift and then plus and minus on the, uh, on the D-pad area. Not like plus and minus to the uh, to the right of the number keys. Like you need all the way over on the right. And if you don't have those, I don't know. You might be out of luck. You might have to remap those. Um, but that increases the time, the like speed the time goes. And so hopefully, yeah. If you can tell right here, see this little arrow that's going towards the recycler, the organic race recuperation thing. That means that is the turd coming through. And once that hits this, uh, I believe that gets us uh, 10 units, I think it's 10 units, of fertilizer, which we need. Because 10 units of fertilizer gets, uh, uh, 10, 10, okay, never mind. I guess it's like a percentage-based thing. I don't know, I have to figure this out. But uh, essentially, you do this to get fertilizer, and we're going to need a lot of that stuff. Because, let's open up the market. Let's open up the build menu again. Go to this. So the first one, I should probably scroll over it for a second. Seaweed farm. Residential. Uh, plastics factory. Recycling. Uh, prefab factory. Tech lab. Desalination plant. Botanical garden. And hangar. Those are these structures you can build. So what we're going to work on here is a seaweed farm. So let's first buy the materials, which is fairly expensive. Not too bad. Um, purchase. And then drag over here. I kind of wish you could just automatically buy it without having to deal with the market, but, uh, oh well, no big deal. Uh, I guess it's just really to teach you sustainability, because that's one of the main goals about this game. Is it still raining outside? I don't really know. Yep, I think it's always just going to be raining outside. Now, here is the, here's the seaweed plant. Mind you, uh, if you're trying to play this game and you're not sure how to open up the organizational chart, you actually have to left-click and hold on the building. To open this menu up. Now we're here, and we need we need people to run this place. So do we have any directors now that uh, some more people have shown up for us to uh, for us to use? Nope. Some operators, tech technicians, versatile, uh, versatile, versatile. I don't know. Whatever. Let's get him in here. He'll be the director of the seaweed farm. Then we need to get some recipes in here or, or tech, just so uh, we can actually even do things here. So we got. For this place, and the tutorial actually covers this bit, you want to buy seaweed fattening and drying seaweed, both of which feed into this one, so we can drag them here. Technically, I could have dragged them from... No, I can't drag, drag them from the market. It's not how it works in this one. And weirdly enough, seaweed fattening, which is how you actually, like, produce the seaweed, is, um... comes after drying seaweed for some mysterious reason. And now we've got four slots on the drying seaweed and two slots for the seaweed fattening, for people, so I need to get some people in here. So well, let's open it up. We need a farmer. So here's one. Uh, any other farmers? Nope. Oh, but that's okay because if you notice here, it says farmer operator. So farmers are appropriate for farms. Operators are appropriate for uh, for I guess the drying seaweed portion. I thought I saw a bunch of operators earlier, but I guess they've, uh, pieced out? I'm not entirely sure how how the whole, like, available people thing works. But, uh, seeing as this guy is versatile and everybody else is, I don't know, like a programmer and a researcher, which is pretty useless right off the bat, I kind of wish you got to pick and choose, or, like, put a custom order in, but I guess we'll have to do. Anyway, so these are the different people's skills. And, like, morale and stuff. So, hydrogen, nutrition, morale, health. Important stuff. And they also level up. So, you can actually you can actually focus on getting your people better at things. I assume a lot of this stuff is locked behind beta walls. But, uh, a number of these stats directly correspond with the task they're doing. I don't exactly know how it works. But, uh, well, not the end of the world. Anyway, let's check. Has this finished its task yet? 
Doesn't look like it. So if we go back to the recycler and check this out, it's 35% of the way done to producing uh, 10 fertilizer. Unfortunately, this guy does not poop very quickly. And that's going to be kind of a problem for us because if we come over to this, here is our seaweed fattening and here is our drying seaweed. Now, to dry seaweed, uh, what you do is you just take fed seaweed, which you get via seaweed fattening, and you get to turn it into portions of seaweed and water, actually. So this is how you get your food. And so once you can get this closed system working well, this is uh, effectively uh, how, how you become self-sustainable, or at least, you know, closer to. The problem is, we need to get a lot more shit, because if you notice here, it says 100 units of fertilizer, because this is the icon for fertilizer, 100 units of seaweed. Now, we can actually go here to organic and buy a bunch of seaweed. And if you hold shift, you can buy lots of 25, which is super useful. So now we have the 100 seaweed that we need, but we need a lot more poop for this. And I haven't exactly been able to figure this one out properly. And by figure it out properly, I mean, I'm not sure how to get my people to poop faster, which is supposedly a problem. They never really covered pooping in the tutorial. So I've been kind of fumbling on this one. Okay, correction. I don't know what risk means. Risk is concerning. Anyway, correction. I've actually figured out how to how to potentially solve the lack of poop problem. We don't want a prefab factory. What am I doing? We want to build a recycling plant. Let's open up the market. Also, if the, uh, if the window size has changed a little bit, it's because I put this game in a window so I could actually look at the... There's not even a wiki for this game. It's just an image that tells me how to get resources. So let's buy the resources needed for a uh, recycling plant. And then what we want to do, drag one of them out here. Let's kind of pop it on this one so I'm like space efficient and stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's pop that there. Pan our camera down a little bit. Unfortunately, there's like not a whole lot of identifying factors in for how the character uh, not how the characters, how the buildings work and stuff. But anyway, so we've got researcher, programmer, medic, operator, recycler. Okay, so we're going to want to build a recycler at the very least. And no directors. Lot. Oh, geez, he's expensive. Probably worth it. All right, so what we want to do is go in here, check tech, because what we're looking for is organic waste recuperation, which is, I believe, it says, oh, no, no, we don't want organic. We don't want that. We either want recycling or we want, because I'm, I'm looking at this over here. I, I've got a thing on the right side that says organics recycling. So that means it's something somewhere. And my bet is it's just flat out recycling. We'll see what happens. Uh, worst comes to worst, we fail. I figure it out someday. I don't know. Let's drag this over here. Recycle. What can we recycle? Can I not do metal? Uh, why is this metals? Is that what I bought? No. How do I change it from metals? Oh, here we go. Recycling organics. All right. So, uh, yep, this is exactly what we need. Oh, oh. Okay. So, here's what we can do. We can uh, take organic garbage... Uh, I'm not sure how to produce that yet. I guess it's organics extraction. I'll have to figure that out at, at some point. But we have uh, we have stuff. So what we want to get is a director if I have one. The answer is no. But we do have a crazy operator. Uh, but I don't need operators right now. I'd love to hire him just because the, the higher skill level they are, the better they're going to be. But I guess our junior recycler is going to be the main... Uh, main cheese here. Oh, we got another one. Might as well buy as many recyclers as I can get right now. Okay. Because, yeah, none of these guys are even versatile. That's kind of butts. Because, yeah, you need you need directors or, at the very least, versatile, uh, versatile characters. So we'll just have him, him, and, um, I don't know. Adriana Hawkins Walker, you can be the director for the time being. I'm not sure what the pluses or minuses of this are, but anyway. So, what we need at this point is just organic garbage, which actually, if we can get this working, oh, we're in a good, we're in a good spot. Because now, I'm figuring, I'm figuring this out. I'm learning. Also, apparently don't play this game in a window. 
your frame rate just halves. It's atrocious. I'm going to have to work on that. But now we get the recycling organics, and this means we can actually start our food production. It's going to cost us a little bit, but this way we don't have to worry about feeding people. Now let's check the menu. Looks like we have supplies for eight colonists for 11 days. Yeah, that should be fine. Hopefully the recycling organics and the everything else is going to work out in the meantime. Fortunately, I think it takes a little while for these plants to actually even start working. But, oh, I've got 100 seaweed sitting around. Oh, wait, I already bought that. Nuts. Now, if I zoom in... Nope, doesn't seem to do anything. You can, you can kind of zoom in and see, like, if a place is even working. So currently, the seaweed factor ain't doing anything. Uh, mainly because, well, there's just nothing to do. There are no resources. So until we can get that fertilizer in, we're pretty much stuck. And it takes a very long time to get even, like, the barest amount of fertilizer needed, apparently. All right, so what we're, we're going to do is boost up the time, which actually doesn't seem to make that much of a difference, and pretty much wait until uh, food starts coming in. Because until I can figure out how to get an extractor, we're pretty much just stuck waiting. Hmm. I should figure out how to do an extractor, because there's a thing called organics extraction, but I've never been able to figure out where that is. Because it's listed on the image, but just don't know. It's weird. But, uh, let's see. So we, we've, we've got this going slowly. I think it goes a little bit faster than the poop, but not by much. Oh, why is... Oh, I see. So the more people we have on this, the faster it's going to go. So let's see if I can get more people on the organics. Uh, a farmer wouldn't be a bad idea. So, what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to buy a couple of farmers. We're going to need these guys later, so I might as well just quickly set them onto this. Because the faster we get this going, the faster we're going to be able to like, cycle people around. Because I can move that uh, the senior farmers onto other things. And as we go along, it's going to be very important. Oh, wow, yeah, the more people we stick on this, the faster it goes. Or at least the faster it looks like it's going to go. Okay, now what we're going to need to look into is power. I mentioned this earlier uh, with the little battery, and I was a little bit concerned about this. Honestly, I can't even figure out uh, what the like big deal with it is. But let's do... Uh, I think it's under electricity batteries. So what you can do is you can buy eight batteries. It's expensive, but you're going to need it anyway. Because you drag them in here. And what this does is it boosts your energy storage by a crazy amount. So you have very little wasted resources. Uh, and if we somehow, for whatever reason, start losing uh, losing power, or at least our, we start running into a deficit, we're going to have some uh, we're going to have some issues. I think you can also get a energy ampl amplifier and an accumulator. I'm just going to throw them on just so I can see what happens when I do. So apparently that boosts. So getting an amplifier increases the amount of power I can generate, and a, an accumulator does as well. So if I actually just bought three more of each, then we're maxed out on power until we can figure out uh, alternate means of boosting these resources. But I might as well do this because, yeah, you know, the generators, I mean, we're probably not going to run into power issues for a very long time, but I might as well just uh, set this, forget about it, because well, we're going to run into money, money issues someday. I'll have to figure that one out. Oh. So there's building maintenance. So actually, if you ho hover over these things, it will tell you what these do. Go figure. So I'd like to look into water desalination next, considering water is probably going to be the following issue. Though, uh, dehydrating the fat and seaweed is going to get us uh, water. It's not going to be enough. So, Tech Lab uh, desalination plant. Let's open up the market. Switch over to this one, because I think that's the one where you buy everything. Purchase. Alright, we now can build the water desalination plant. I'm not sure where I'm going to want to put it either. Uh, you? Here? It's tiny, so my... Nah, man. I was really hoping I could fit all of them in the same area. I'm going to leave that as a residential block, though. So let's let's start 
the desalination over here and see what we need to do with it. The answer looks to be, eh. Oh. A link to blueprint, water desalination, link to blueprint, building maintenance. Okay. So, uh, I, apparently the tooltips are actually like way, uh, way uh, nicer than I thought they were going to be. Originally, I was just like, how do, how do you even figure out what these, like, purple things, uh, you know, link up with? And turns out, it actually tells you. Props. All right, so we want to also do building maintenance. I'll figure this one out. Might as well buy it. It's cheap. And maybe it's going to have, like, a nice boost here. What does it even do? It produces that. I don't even know what that is as a resource. It's the, um, the wrench and screwdriver. Hmm, weird. All right, so let's hook this up. So what, what do we need for water desalination? Actually nothing. So if I have, and that just gives me a water portion. All right, so if I have um, operator, H operator, and ideally a director. Do we have any operators here? I think I saw the, like, oh, we got a director. Finally. I've been waiting for one of these guys to show up. Of course, I'm going to... should probably actually move him elsewhere. Uh, over to organics. Because if we actually have, like, a real director here... Oh, and we've got an actual operator. My interface is getting so messy right now. Let's switch them around to you. I don't want to delete that. I should be able to move that person over here, no problem. Let's see, we uh, operator? No. Where's operator listed? I think it's this person. Yeah, here we go. So pop that on that one. And do we have any more directors that we can hire? I'm also probably going to have to look into uh, ooh, more recyclers, which I think we're going to need. Um, we got another another versatile character, which is more important right now. And I'm probably gonna have to go buy some food portions because I think we're running out. But we can start water desalination and go from there. And this is uh, completely self-sustained. So our characters are, not our characters, but we can just leave this run running for, you know, forever. All right, let's close all the windows. So we've, we've got water reclamation coming. I'll probably wanna put some more in at some point. Let's check the status on the recycling. We've got a couple of farmers. It's 90% done to giving us food and seaweed. Let's check our food. We've got seven days. Not a big deal. Okay, nobody's starving. And the, apparently this is done? Oh, and it restarted, which probably means I have uh, some amount of... Yeah, I got fertilizer. It's not much, but uh, it's probably going to be an efficient means of using resources. Now I should be able to start this as soon as this one's done. And it's, what, 90%? It should be quick, except for it's, it's stopped. Why is it stopped? Oh, we're running out of, we've run out of organic matter. All right, where, where do we got it? I might as well just buy like 500 of this, just so this can keep running forever. Because organic matter is super cheap. Gonna have to figure out how to get money, but uh, apart from that, Okay, because... Why is... Oh! Okay, I was wondering why this wasn't running anymore. I'm not entirely sure. Like, I don't, I don't actually know what any of these specifically signify. But I think it's running now. Alright, I have to start it, though. Alright, there we go process has been started back up, and for whatever reason, it kicked me back to 80%. Weird. Alright, now we've got some farmers. Should probably actually switch them out for recyclers, and I think I saw at least one recycler. Here we go. Might as well just toss her, her into the mix for the time being. I think it was a her. And then we can figure out the farmers as we go along. I think I can... Ah, you can pan it around with the middle mouse. Any other recyclers... Along the way, versatile farmer, farmer, duh, 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 duh. not particularly great. Now this actually tells me, oh, it's compatible with farmers. So farmers aren't quite as good, but they're not bad. 
as far as things go. Hey, we, we've got the uh, fertilizer we need, so let's switch over to this. And flip the switch on both of these, I think. Oh, this is this is going to need fed seedweed, seaweed to work. But, eventually, all of these will be running in conjunction. And it'll be nice. Let's see. Operator. Where's that superstar operator that, uh, he's gone, isn't he? Yep. Anybody else? Oh, we do have a director. So in that case, hire the director. Switch you to seaweed fattening, you to organization. Then I'm going to move these charts around because otherwise we're going to have issues. Okay. So, yeah, th this is working. Now it's just going to take an insane amount of time. And I'm going to have to figure out how to get, um, matter. Ooh, hey, farmer. I'm going to have to figure out how to get that whole matter re reclamation going, but that's not a big deal. I'll just have the versatile person there for the time being. All right. I think we, I, 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 I'm not going to say we got this on, in the bag, but, uh, well, we've definitely got this under advisement, which is really nice. I just have to figure out... This is 80%. What does this even do? Building maintenance. All right, seeing as uh, building maintenance is actually a thing we can do on here, I want to see if I can get it working. Where is building maintenance under? This one, right? Yeah, building maintenance. Purchase. And... Because it says building maintenance will result in extra production, maybe? So I assume if I have like a technician running this, we can maybe make the recycling plant more efficient. All right, so we need a technician. Do we have any? Yeah, we do. All right, lady, you do a thing. Not really sure how this is all going to pan out, but that's okay. Now, I truly don't understand what the... So, if you look at the top center, there's a thing that says risk, and we're at a 5% risk. I truly don't know what that means. And it concerns me to a degree, but, uh... We'll probably be fine, I just have to figure out how to food. Because we can't do technology, we can't do... Research. Our food is holding out for four days, but I hope within four days... This thing will be done? Because the seaweed fattening is going... Oh, shoot. I'm not drying the seaweed, am I? I don't have any seaweed to dry. And I think this is still going on properly. I'm going to have to pay attention. Because once this is done, then we'll be able to... Uh, once this is done, then we'll be able to turn on the drying seaweed, and then we can get more food. Hopefully, like, I'm not sure... Because there's cycles, uh, which is important somewhere. So this is 12 cycles. So I guess a cycle is an hour. So we've got 12 hours before the seaweed fattening is done. And then we can go from there. I really wish you could go past speed four. But we've got 48 cycles before everybody starts starving, which should be fine. All right. And risk is still going up. So in that case, we should probably look into buildings. Uh... Let's see, recycling's maybe useful. Might as well look at what blueprints we've got available. Because some of those will probably... help out here. Maybe. Problem is, like, a number of these things, these, like, researchy type things, don't mean much at all. Hello, so Oh, wait, no, solar shields. I wonder what hangers are going to be good for. But I have no idea. But, at the very least, a uh, bit of a lengthy episode, a bit of a, a rambly episode as we're trying to figure things out. But this is how you get the basics of your facility going. And I'm sure at some point there's a lot of stuff we're going to run into that's going to sink this entire run. But it's a very good uh, starting situation to be in. And hopefully I can figure out what that risk percentage is before we get up to 100%. Because that's terrifying. And hopefully I'll be able to get enough food that, you know, things aren't going to be a problem. Are you done yet? 69%. So we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. But I'll see you guys on the next episode of Project Aura, where we will figure out how to reduce the risk percentage, feed our people, uh, deal with the the uh, truly limited amount of shit that we're producing here. These people do not poop nearly enough. I guess that's really just because we have this one dude strapped to the toilet. kind of feel bad for him. Anyway, 
as I was saying, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and as always, thanks for watching.